Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you my Linux workflow based on the window manager Qtile. Qtile is a dynamic tiling window manager based on the programming language Python. And Python is currently one of the top ranked programming languages available due to its easy to understand syntax and the flexibility for many use cases outside. Qtile is simple, fast and extensible. And with a bit of a learning curve, you can really develop and create your own personal Linux desktop environment. Qtile is very well documented. I think it's one of the best documented window managers outside. The first part of the video is a demonstration of my workflow. I will show you how I use Qtile on a daily basis. The second part of the video is about some configuration examples. I will share some insights how I have configured Qtile. The overall configuration of my Qtile setup is available on GitLab. You can find the link in the description below and get access to all my dot files. Let's start. When I boot up into my Qtile window manager, um, the system shows a randomly selected wallpaper. And if I don't like it, I can click super key shift W and a new wallpaper is then selected with super key shift W. I can switch again to another wallpaper and so on. And I stop when I find something that I like for the day. I can also change the wallpaper with a Rofi menu. So for example, I select this wallpaper Or this one. The next thing that I usually do, I check for updates. With super key return, I open my terminal and with yay, yeah, I can check if updates are available. I can open my Alacrity terminal with super key return. I can open another terminal with super key return and I can open Brave, my browser with super key B. You see every window has rounded corners and a gap in between. The background of the terminal is blurred. And yeah, in the highlighted window takes a color selected from the background image. And I do this with Pi Wall. Means when I change again the background with super key shift W, you see that also the highlight color changed. Pywall is a great tool to integrate any wallpaper into your window manager and it looks fantastic. I can move the browser with super key shift left to the left side. I can bring it back with super key shift right to the right side. I can increase the height of the Brave browser with super key control up arrow and I can decrease it again with super key down arrow. Then I can increase the width with super key control up and down for decreasing the window again. I can switch to another workspace with super key two and I can go back in my case with super key one. I close an application with super key Q, Q, Q and I have again an empty workspace. As a file manager, I use Thuna. With super key T, I can switch to floating mode. And then I can move the window around with super key control return. Again, the Brave browser. Here it is. And I can also switch the Brave browser to the floating mode. I can move it around. Yeah, and with that, I can simulate a standard desktop environment with dedicated windows and not the tiling mode. On top, you see my poly bar. So I'm not using the default Qtile bar. I have here a customized poly bar. And the first icon, when I click on this, an application starter based on Rofi pops up. Then I have my workspace indicator. And here are custom icons. One of the first things that I normally do is I open Outlook, I open Teams, 
and the Brave browser. Outlook and Teams are running as web apps and Brave has a great feature to start any website as an app and that enables a super seamless integration into my desktop. So I can close Teams and I can open ChatGPT also as an app integrated in my tiling window manager. And here I have a Rofi based calculator. In the middle, you see the title of the application. And here you have the keyboard layout, the available disk size, the volume, the memory, the processor, and of course the clock. And here is an icon when I click this, a custom power off menu pops up. And when I need Windows 11 applications, that's also easy. I can switch to another workspace, open a terminal and just enter VM and the X3 RDP clients starts and I have my Windows 11 and Windows 11 reacts as any other application. So I can increase the window size. I can start the Explorer I can move windows to the left side. I can increase the window size again. And you see that the screen resolution of Windows 11 adapts automatically. Let me show you some configuration files. I start with Qtile. You see I have stored all my dot files into a separate folder called dot files or so not in dot config and I have created symbolic links for every application into the dot config folder that makes it easy for me to manage the configuration files with GitLab so I can control everything what I post on the GitLab repositories. Let's go into the Qtile folder, open the auto start file with Wim. And you, you know, I, I like that ASCII font headers on top. And here are all the commands that I execute when Qtile starts up. First one is I set the screen resolution and the uh, frequency rate to 120. Then, then I set the keyboard layout to DE. Then I start PyCon. Then the XFCE power manager, the done service for the notifications and the polybar that updates script for my wallpaper. And last but not least, I also start my Windows 11 virtual machine in the background. That means Windows 11 is always available for me when I need a dedicated application. The next one is my config.py, um, where I can decide here on top which bar I want to use. I have here set a variable to polybar, um, but I can also switch immediately when I want to the default Qtile bar. Let's save it and let's give it a try. With super key control R, I can reload the configuration um, of Qtile and you see now I'm back in the default Qtile bar. Let's switch back to the polybar write the config, super key, control R, and the polybar is back on top. Here are all the key bindings that I use. I have defined five workspaces, five groups here on top. The sixth one is a workspace that polybar is showing for scratch pads. For example, when I start a chat GPT scratch pad, I click on super key F10 and the scratch pad with ChatGPT comes up. I can close it with super key Q or a terminal. Terminal is super key F12 and I have here my terminal. By the way, I can move any window with super key and left mouse button and I can resize any window with super key right mouse button. Here are some colors for my pie wall configuration. I set the border width to three. I also here set the border focus color from pie wall. The default is white and the margin is 15. 
And when I load polybar, here is the if statement. If polybar is set, then I set the screens only to this um, configuration, create a space for the polybar and move all windows a bit more down. At the bottom, you see that I load the auto start file um, when I boot up my Qtile. Let's jump to PyCom. Here it's important if you want to use um, blur backgrounds, you have to set the back end to GLX. Here I have defined the opacity value, opacity, special opacity rules for dedicated applications. So Alacrity has an opacity of 90. When it's not focused, then it's 70. And Rofi has also an opacity of 70%. The corner radius is 10, you see it here. And here is the background blurring. The blur method is dual cavase, and the blur size is 12, and the blur strength is 4. And that's mainly it for my PyCon configuration. The next important element um, for my workflow is my polybar. Also here at the beginning, I set several colors. Um, also here from the PyWall configuration, and here I have my bar in the modules left i load all the modules on the left side then we have the x window name in the middle and the modules right is showing up here and then you can define custom modules for example my module outlook this one um, with is a custom text module the foreground color is defined here on top um, i use and font awesome icon and this is what i mentioned at the beginning you can start brave in an application mode for any website in my case here it's outlookoffice.com and then it looks like that this is but you can also start of course scripts like my app launcher script for rofi or other script to start my calculator in Rofi. Or on the right side, the power menu. And that's it for today. I hope you like my Qtile based workflow. I can only encourage you give this great window manager a try. See you next time.